All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today for some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC pack number eight, or extra pack number four content here on the channel. Going to be doing another tutorial video on how to obtain all the new costumes for your custom character. We have the, I guess, snow suit costumes for Goku and Vegeta with the SAB symbol from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, as well as the Santa costume for both Videl and Android number 18. So I want to say a big shout out to the homie Tiago Erez for hooking me up with a modded file for this so that I can show you guys exactly how these actually work and how you can obtain it. So again, it's going to be through the gift system TP Metal Shop in the future. This is currently not out officially for everyone yet. Like I said, you'll see people wearing these costumes such as the Santa costume or the SAB costume and stuff. That's how you know somebody hacked the game and it's been modded and it's not actually legit for these people. They're actually going in there and hacking it somehow through some code and the hex editor and all that if you guys know how modding works. So this Santa costume looks awesome. I already got a beard but you have like two different variations. You got one with a Santa hat and one with a beard which is really cool. So basically whenever they announce that these are going to be released just like the swimsuit Tawa, just like the Tapion costume and the Kefla wig, it's going to be through the TP Metal Shop gift system after you do, I think, like a raid or something like that. It's really weird how it works, but those of you who have played this game and have experienced it, you know how it works like that. So again, I'm going to reiterate this. It is not released yet. So basically what you want to do with the actual gift is you'll obtain it and you'll hand it over to the respective character that can wear that costume as a partner customization. For example, I'm showing you guys right now that you can give it to Vegeta. It's going to be, I think, the uh, like first gift for him because that's the first time he's gotten, I think, like a new costume, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool that we're able to give it to him. Now we're going to go ahead and try out with Videl and see how this functions. You will have to be under them as a student and let them and just allow them to be an instructor for you. So you're going to do that for Videl, Android 18, Vegeta, and Goku. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and just be her student for now just for the purpose of showing you guys you want to hand over the second gift if you have the original one the first gift was the swimsuit variation which a lot of people like and then we had the christmas variation and there's just some cute little funny dialogue there where i think she's like talking about oh how this is kind of cute and then she's like oh not really and then goes like wow that is cute it'd be a great you know thing for the parties and then she's like the hell's wrong with you it's just funny to see some of the dialogue that they have especially with android 18 hers is the most fun so i'll see you guys back whenever we got goku down for the count all right my friends so we're back here where goku is he's actually right next to grandpa gohan with vegeta he's actually near the uh i guess raid the 5v1 area where few is so that's how you can actually locate them so you want him once again to be your instructor you talk with him allow him to be the instructor and then you talk with him a second time and hand over the gifts it's going to be gift number two that is going to be the jacket for him the one that is from the broly movie it looks really clean and he's talking about how like chi chi one and one and stuff again i really like the little like dialogue that they put in there i mean that ain't no compensation for making us have to do this tp metal crap but you know what i mean it's just really cool so now let's go ahead and try out android number 18 Okay, so now Android number 18 is located near the shopping kind of area with like the bridge and stuff. The more like, you know, just industrial kind of sector of the, uh, you know, Canton City. So allow her to be your instructor for this one. You're just going to have to keep doing this back and forth if you want to be able to do all these costumes at the same time. I'm just showing it for the sake of the video. So the first gift is actually going to be the, I think, swimsuit variation. And the second one is the Santa one. And she's like, you're really weird. You know that because... You always wanted to wear some weird crap, which is just hilarious. I absolutely love that. So that's pretty much all you have to do. Now you want to fly all the way over to a area where you can actually find the partner customization robot. You're going to be the little floating robot and it's going to have partner customization right on top of the name. So go ahead and talk with this dude. And there you have it. We have Goku, Vegeta, and Android number 18, as well as Videl, where you can actually customize them. So special costume one, one of the cooler ones. I love the journey to the West Goku. He looks amazing, but special costume number two will actually grant him the SAB uniform looking amazing. And you can give him the Super Saiyan transformations. Now, my boy, Tiago, actually hooked me up with this custom version with Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Now, they cannot, and I repeat this, they cannot go God forms. Anybody that is thinking, oh, yes, they're going to get God 
you know, the red hair or the blue hair. Unfortunately, that is not the case. This is just a modded variation to show you guys what happens if you're able to equip it. It doesn't actually go blue. It makes them just go Super Saiyan, but the hair doesn't change. It's just the color of the hair and the eyes that change. Same thing with Vegeta. I have the Super Saiyan God blue skill equipped, but they can have their respective normal Super Saiyan transformations. Vegeta having Super Saiyan, Super Vegeta, and I think Super Vegeta 2, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's his normal line of Super Saiyan transformations up until like the you know final point of the Buu Saga. And then with Goku, he's going to have his respective 1, 2, and 3 forms. Now, with Android number 18, and of course Videl, they're able to switch out their costumes for the special costume number 2 for the Santa clothing. I'm not sure why it's always just 18 and Videl and no other female characters. I guess because it's fan service, but I mean, still, that's really cool that we're able to do it, and they look absolutely adorable. Look at that. Look at Videl. Come on, man. In the Santa clothing, like, let's go. Get you all revved up for the ho holiday, you know, cheer, holiday spirit, all that good stuff. So now I want to go into the versus mode and actually showcase to you guys how the Super Saiyan transformations will work with Super Saiyan Blue. This is just to prove a point. Again, you cannot get these forms. These forms are not in this game. I'm playing a modded version of it right now and that's why you'll probably like i said see people getting you know in trouble or getting banned because they keep hacking do not go online i repeat if you ever do this do not go online with this stuff strictly always be offline with cosmetic mods or any mods in general it's not worth the risk so i'm gonna go ahead and go over to the glacier and we're gonna showcase how funky and weird these transformations get whenever you actually have super saiyan blue so basically it gives you the aura and the power and everything but the actual aesthetics of it so i'm gonna go ahead and fly on over there but uh again i want to say a massive shout out to tiago bro if you're watching this thank you so much for hooking your boy up with all of this to showcase for the good people of the slow community and just the dragon ball community in general so as you can see it's weird when he goes super saiyan blue he still has the normal hair like the normal goku hair but it's golden and he's got blue eyes but he does have the blue aura which is a little bit freaky. I'm not sure why it does that. That just shows that Bandai and Dimps, they didn't really care. Or even plan to have a Super Saiyan Blue transformation for these characters. Now, one thing that a lot of people do point out is a uh, similar aspect with these characters when you see them in the actual Parallel Quest. Where they're able to transform such as the Whiskey Goku and the Whis Armor Vegeta. That's pretty much what I'm trying to get at at this point. Like, the reason why I feel like they should be able to do it is because it's already in the game. Same thing with the My Raid mode. You know, the My Raid mode shows that these characters, like Demigra, Fusamasu, you know, Corrupted Form and all that stuff, they're actually in the game, they have a skill set, they have a move set. Just allow us to play as them. It's not even that hard. Modders were allowing us to do this long ago. I'm talking back in 2017, last year. So... Again, I do apologize for the quality looking weird. I'm still using my laptop here to record all this, so it's not going to be on point. But as you can see, he does the same animation for Super Saiyan Blue. Gets the blue aura, but gets the uh, you know yellow gold hair. Uh, still really cool to see, I'm not going to lie. I really do like the way it looks and just the aesthetics of it. But obviously, it's not Super Saiyan Blue. You know, we got some nice skills going on, but... That's pretty much all I wanted to get into. It's nothing too crazy or major in terms of how to obtain these. It's the same process as we always done with the TP Metal Shop gift system. I know it sucks, but you know it's going to be the similar case with all of this stuff in the future if they ever do decide to drop more DLC. But that's how you get all the costumes. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd gladly love to help you guys if I have the knowledge and the info for it. So... Thank you all so much. Hopefully it was informative and spread this video if anybody else is having trouble. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace out, take care. Have a great day, my friends.